The 2016 Gary Weber Open had no less than six German players competing in this year's tournament for the home fans to root for. One homegrown star who's been tipped for the top is the exciting teenager Alexander Zverev, who's the youngest player inside the world top 40. The 19-year-old took on Serbian number 7 seed Viktor Troitsky in one of seven singles matches on day two. Troitsky quickly found himself a breakdown, but showed he was up for the fight by steadying any early nerves to leave Zverev on the deck. Zverev trying to channel his inner Becca. However, the German is one of the game's rising talents, and following another break of serve in the ninth game, he was swiftly on course for the opening set. After securing the opener 6-4, Zverev stepped up his level to leave the home fans delighted. Played that magnificently. The German dismissing the number seven seed in straight sets. Well, the sun is out in Halle. Very welcome it is too, and it's shining on the golden boy of German tennis, Alexander Zverev, making light work of Viktor Troitsky. There was a repeat of the 2007 final as Tomas Burdick faced off against Marcus Bagdatis. The first set proved something of a slow burner, but Bagdatis gave glimpses of the talent that made him a former world number eight. That's found oh, the that's line. a peach. Bagdatis. Absolutely glorious slice from Bagdatis. The big Czech player's radar was a little awry and an 18th unforced error of the set gave Bagdetis the opener. That's been the problem for the Czech. He hasn't been able to find any consistency, and Bagdetis has capitalised and takes it on the tiebreak. The second set also went the distance, and once again Burdick faltered when it mattered. Oh. Apologies from Bagdetis. Hi. Hi. Leaving Bagdatis the opportunity to seal an impressive victory. Oh. Unbelievably, a third seeded player goes out at the first round stage at the Gary Vaymer Open. And Marcos Bagdatis gets his revenge. Two years ago in Halle, Dustin Brown caused a stir when he defeated Rafael Nadal on his way to the quarter-finals. In his opening match this year, he faced a different Spaniard in the shape of Albert Ramos Vinolas. After exchanging breaks early, wildcard Brown began to showcase why he's a dangerous contender on grass. Well, it's a bit like he goes to the casino when he plays tennis, isn't it? And it's either red or black. After taking the opener 6-3, Brown then proceeded to light up the stadium court. Oh, no way! That was a shot of a superstar from Dustin Brown. And off the back of 41 winners, Brown ensured a third German victory of the day. This time he takes it. Brown, Scott McBurn is five. delighted with that, and so is Dustin Brown. Straight sets in the end, comfortable. My goodness me, it was magical at times. Day three heralds the entrance of eight-time and defending champion Roger Federer into this year's event. Federer and Grass, the perfect tennis combination.